guys welcome to my channel welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are not new today we are tackling the very daunting task that is my tbr card now hopefully i can get it right this time and make it more efficient than the past 50 times i try to film this and better than the one that i made like a month ago um Bef I didn't even get it. It didn't even make it to the internet. So obviously, eighty percent, like eighty percent. I want to say eighty percent. Eighty percent sounds like a good percentage. Eighty percent, like or like seventy-five. I don't want to say like eighty or ninety because that seems like a lot. Like I've, I've read stuff. Like I read. You know, it's not like. I mean, I'm also like a hoarder, like a book hoarder. I'm gonna tackle manga, physical books, or not physical, regular, regular books, um, and then. I am going to tackle um, my e-reader. I think I left it on, so it should be fine. So first up is the manga. Um, Black Torch is one that I've been meaning to read. Um, I have the whole series. I wanted to, like, I want to binge read it, kind of in a sense, um, because with, especially with manga, I like to like read all of it or like whatever I can get my hands on it, especially if I like the series. Black Torch. I didn't fully get to read it. I liked what I read. But then I was like, oh, it's only five volumes. Let me just buy the whole thing and I can just like consume it in all one go. Blue Exorcist. Um, it's been one that's been on like my priority list for like a while. Chainsaw Man Part 2. But yeah, I have to like reread it all because I was reading it weekly with the Shonen Jump app. But then I just kind of like fell off with it. And I was just like, eh. Right? And I was just kind of like, eh. So now I'm going to try to get back into it. I want to fully conceptualize or like, I don't know. I just need to reread it all. I was reincarnated as a villainess in the anime game, but the boys love me anyways. That is one of, that's my favorite series right now. Like, I just love it with a passion. Um, And the fourth volume I have, I don't know if the fifth volume or if there is a fifth volume out now. Um, But last time I checked, there was only four and I have all four. So... I just need to read the latest one. The Golden Sheep. I will be putting photos of the series like next to me in this space here. Um, the Golden Sheep is a series I do want to reread. Um, I remember reading it. It was really good. Um, I just I think I want to make a manga talk about it and just share with you guys because to make about like vertical comics and how like their covers are. I don't know. Like aesthetically, they look so much better than. No offense, then Kodansha and Signature and um, Viz and most of the stuff. Anyways, I'm not going to get, like, too, it's not about aesthetics, but, like, and they have, like, really interesting stories and mangas anyways, so that's that. Next is Blue Lock. Blue Lock is obviously a soccer manga. I want to read it. Um, I've been meaning to and stuff that I've seen on social media and, like, on Tumblr and whatnot and what I've seen on TikTok. Like, it seems interesting, like, at least the anime did, and I was like, I want to read the manga first before I try the anime. Woo! And then the two newest, 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 that's not a thing. Um, The two newest series that I have on my bookshelves that I want to read um, is Witch Hat Atelier. I have the first volume, and Dangerous Convenience Story. Granted, I already read most of, like, Dangerous Convenience Story because it is a webtoon, um but i just like to be remembered because like i can't keep up with the webtoons especially because they're all on like so many different platforms and then like i don't always have the money to be dropping on um what's that company called where is it published it's liaison liaison comics right no is it if i'm right you won't see this then we have um books our regular regular books we have infinite country Cersei, um, Ace of Spades. Hold on, I wrote them down all here. I don't know why I'm looking that way. Ace of Spades. I have a Pride and Prejudice. I want to reread it because in middle school or like elementary school or middle school, I think it was in middle school. I read it um, as part of the accelerate reading thing that we had to do, and um, I made it my whole personality. I read one classic, and I was like, yeah, I'm basically a. a a literature person but i also read like some other um classic literature but pride and prejudice i just love it um the god of endings which is one of the books that was like all the way down there that i completely forgot in that dark corner 
um, up against the wall. Um, Pomegranates and Promises, which is one of these books that I stumbled acro- across on Book Talk, if I'm not mistaken, and if I'm interpreting the um, title correctly, I think it's a Hades and Persephone kind of like um, fractured thing, kind of like what that other lady does. I think it's a lady, um, the one that writes the twisted, uh, twisted hooks and like all of that. Also, I realize like a lot of spicy book talk book recommendations usually end up being like Hades and Persephone retellings and it's just like yeah it's interesting but like I don't know there's other stories right I think to like retell um oh yeah okay Battle Royale I think I mentioned it in my last my last bookcase tour which was like oof um seven months ago I think according to my channel um Battle Royale, favorite book ever. As of right now, it's still currently my favorite book. I want to reread it. I want to share it with you guys. Manga talk definitely coming soon about that book, but I have to read it. The Sister Grimm series. It's one of those series that I want to read for nostalgia purposes, which is also why it's on this list along with The Hunger Games, because obviously, if you know, A Ballad of Bird Songs and Snakes came on came up like in november question mark i think it was november um and i read the book and i went to see the movie but then like the move the book don't get me wrong it was so exciting to see a hunger games movie in theaters again it's just that the book held so much more you know and the people that read the book know what i'm talking about so then we have i'm gonna if you see me looking down it's because the bookshelf that you're on right now is what are the last of my books that I want to read. Um, the Shadow of the Gods, which is book one. Miss Born is there. Um, Red Rising. And I read, I read it, guys. I read the um, Cruel Prince series. And at first, yeah, I think it's like a general consensus among fans of the Cruel Prince series that the first one was okay. Um, and that the second one is really good. And the third one was it, right? Just I every time I go on TikTok, I just learn that none of my thoughts are original. But basically, kind of like it was it's more of the political leaning aspect, um, fantasy politics. I think it leans more into that than rather romance. Romance is kind of like a subplot. One hour later. Can you move it along? But I think it's also because like that's where like the most romance happens. And that's kind of what people wanted. Um, but yeah. Besides that, I have The King of Elfheim and How He Learned How to Hate Stories. Um, and I have the new one, The Stolen Hair, Air, however you want to pronounce it, which is about their younger brother. Um, this is the newest edition um, from the last video. Hopefully, if I upload this in schedule, um, is Monsterio. Monsterio. Um, it is about a lady. I'm sorry. Okay, can you say. back the oh, fuck up? God. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. This is about a lady. Um, her son dies she takes a piece of his lung and she harnesses it gives it life until it becomes sentient and then it becomes a little monstrio um so this is really interesting it was it was on my barnes and nobles wish list for a long time so i'm finally glad that i have it i saw it in person and i was like ah and out of the books that i grabbed that was the one that was most intriguing to me so yeah now before we get into my e-reader let me tell you what I'm currently reading. So, Jaylene, what are you currently reading? Ha ha ha! Game of Thrones. Um, I read it, I read the first book when I was younger. Shouldn't have been reading it. Um, but I think I was like late middle school, early high school is when I first read the first book. Um, because I was also getting into the series because I was watching the series. I was like, I want to read the books. Um, I have the whole set of this one. Oh, which is the leather bound one that I got at Target. I think it, it's just the general box set that they have for it. Um, my only qualm is that these are like Bible pages, so they're very thin. Uh, but besides that, that's not really like an issue. Like, I can read. And my other, well, not my only issue, being that it is Bible paper, um, is that I was thinking about the fact that like what would happen when winds of winter comes out because 
It's already in a box set. It's in a box set already. What am I going to do? All my books are going to be cute like this. And then Winds of Winter is going to come out. And it's going to be like a fat boy, tall boy. Like completely opposite of what the rest of them look like. I think whoever made the box set should just make Winds of Winter like this by itself. And offer it. Offer it like the box set. Add it to the box set. But also offer Winds of Winter as an attachment to people who already bought this box set. You know what I mean? So, um, I am not a Kindle girly, um, which I only wish I could be a Kindle girly so I can get, like, a, a clear case for this, but I am a Nook girl. Um, don't ask me why, but this is my Nook. Um, it is the Glowlight 3 E. Um, I like it. It does what it does. It reads. That's all I need. Um, I don't use it too frequently because I don't, like, you reading too much so i'm gonna tell you what i have here it's the oh that i'm gonna read from here i have the odyssey but i think i might want to get a physical copy of it which is weird because like again i was just talking about doubles um but this is the odyssey i had emily wilson's version i want to get the iliad of her translation too i have the artist way because i want to um see how it helps with like like i don't have necessarily creativity block but i feel like there's a wall and there's like a small leak or like right now it's like a trickle i feel like i can unlock full potential and like cause the dam to like break if you know what i mean i don't know if that made sense at all um between the lines another nostalgia thing because it was the first book that i read in my book club in high school and i was so angry but i feel like my my fellow students did not harvest the same anger that i did for the character but like i also like really enjoyed it it's in the weird sense that how um like something that draws like so much emotion out of you but you still love it you know like i've seen some terrible anime but so there are certain ones that like yeah it's bad but like i love it it's an enjoyable bad the song of achilles um the wheel of time is there i'm not gonna don't know because i did not know how many books were in the wheel of time and i was like ah maybe not yet then we have Woo! okay the masters of death um which i almost bought the physical book for because i saw the inside cover of that special edition one and i was like done for um i may i was like interested in the fourth wing at first but then like i felt like so i saw so many people and talking about it this and that and i was just like uh, like put me off in a sense weirdly enough i don't know how that works but um not to be like one of those like i'm different girls for whatever but like i guess seeing it too many times i was like ah, i already know what i need to know basically about it um yeah and i saw somebody on tiktok say hey if you like the fourth wing or you want to read something different from the fourth wing but it's similar to the fourth ring wing not ring um is to shape a dragon dragon's breath by monocle black goose but i heard it's really good so i'm intrigued to try it out um and that is it guys that is that's not as bad as when i first did this because i was just listing everything and like basically going through all my books which was a crazy concept in itself let me know if any of these series interest you or if you're excited to hear my opinions on any of these um, books or series. And let me know if you hate any of this. Like, any Cruel Prince fans that, like, didn't really like um, the series at all. Because, I listen, I'll be honest with you. I read the first one and, like, at the very beginning when he was doing that crap, when he was being cruel um it was just like i was like how are we gonna get to like that you know what i mean i was like this is this is doing too much this is and then i was like oh but this looking book i was like oh they're so cute <laughs> um but yeah don't forget to comment like and subscribe and until the next video guys bye 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 bye, bye. bye. not to be confused with house of the dragon um, but the book is called Fire and Blood anyways, so, like...
Don't get it twisted. Ah!